Hey friends, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play Fallen Angel on guitar by Poison. <laughs> This is a fantastic song for intermediate players to practice lots of different guitar techniques. We'll start by learning all the rhythm and finish with the solos. Now they're tuned to E flat, so just tune E string down a semitone. I'll leave my guitar in standard E tuning. Don't forget if you like this lesson to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Songs and lessons uploaded weekly. If you have any problems with the song, leave a comment and let me know how you go with this one. So let's get into it. So for our intro, this first one through is a little bit different to the rest of them and he only does this once in the song. So we're going to play the open D and G string palm muted and then do an upstroke on the second fret on the E string and the third fret on the B string. And then do two palm mutes again on the open D and G. And then play three on the E, three on the B, upstroke. And then do your palm mutes again. And then go back to two on the E, three on the B, upstroke. Two palm mutes again. And this one here, we're gonna do three on the E, three on the B, and pull off to the two. So let me play that first part slowly for you. Now we're dropping down to the third fret on the A string, do two palm mutes. And now we're gonna play three and three on the E and the B upstroke. Two palm mutes again on the third fret on the A string. And then second fret on the E, third fret on the B, upstroke. Two palm mutes on the third fret A. Now we're dropping to a D chord. We're gonna play an upstroke again on the second fret on the E, third fret on the D. Do two palm mutes on the D string. So it's just open. And then we're going to play this sus4 pull off back to the D and then to a sus2. So in the sus4 we're just playing the open D string, 2nd fret on the G, 3rd fret on the B, 3rd fret on the E and pull off to the 2nd fret on the E string. And then just play an upstroke on the open E string, 3rd fret on the B, 2nd fret on the G. And that's the first part of the intro, so let me do that part slowly for you, starting on the G chord. Now when we first start, I know we're just playing the open D and G string, but you're best not putting your second finger up on the E string, because we're actually playing a G chord there. So let's do that slowly. go into the pattern that he uses all throughout the song. We're on the third fret on the E string two times, three and three on the B and the E upstroke, palm muting on the D and the G two times, open, back to two on the E, three on the B upstroke, two palm mutes on the open D and G, three and three again on B and E, two palm mutes on the D and G, Back to two and three on two on the E, three on the B. Two palm mutes again on the D and the G. And then do our pull off again. So we've got third fret B and E, upstroke pull off to the second fret on the E. And then we're gonna do our C the same. Watch a C add nine there. So third fret on the A string, two palm mutes. Three and three on the E and the B. Two palm mutes in the third fret A string again. And then second fret on the E, third fret on the B, upstroke. Back to two palm mutes on the third fret. And then do our D, upstroke. Two palm mutes again on the open D string. 
play the D sus4, pull off to the D like we did in the first part. <laughs> And then play the D sus2 as an upstroke, so open E string, third fret on the B, second fret on the G. And we do that part there three times, so just do that part slowly now for you. Now let's do that whole intro up to speed, I'll just do that second part a couple of times there. So that's our intro and that main riff we're going to use throughout the song. So now let's tackle the verse. And then from there we're going into the verse, we're just going to play a G chord. And then we're going to palm mute the third fret on the E string. And then just play the B and the E string and upstroke third fret. Two palm mutes on the E string, on the third fret, and then the upstroke on the third fret E and B again. And then two palm mutes on the third fret on the E. So we have so pretty common little pattern. Then we're just going to a C chord after that, so third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, open G, first fret on the B. We're just holding that there. Then we're going to the D chord and we're going to play three times. And then the fourth time we're going to play the D sus4, so similar to the intro, we're going to pull off to the second fret and then play the D sus2. So one, two, three. And then we just go back to the G again and do exactly the same thing. C. Now this time we're going to change a little bit. We're going to palm mute the D and then play the D. Palm mute it again on the open D string and then do your G, sorry, your D sus4 pull off to the two again, back to the D. So let me play that part slowly for you, then we'll do it up to speed. And this is the first part of the verse. main riff again starting on the G and we're going to do it two times so slowly and do that again and that's our verse there so let's play the whole thing up to speed it's not too hard once you've got that main riff pre-chorus and now let's have a look at that. Okay for our pre-chorus we're going to start on an E minor so open E string second fret on the A and the D open G B and E. Then we're going to do our palm mute on the E string and then play the third fret on the bottom E string and the open B string. Two palm mutes on the open E. Up on the Third fret on the E, open B again, and two palm mutes on the E. So same rhythm in the verse there, but we're doing it in the pre-chorus now. So then we're coming up to a D power chord. So fifth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the D, G, and B. Play that once, and put a palm mute on the fifth fret on the A. 
Then we're gonna play this D sus4, so we're gonna just fifth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the D and the G, and the eighth fret on the B, play that once. And then play it again and pull off back to the seventh fret with your little finger. Then do two palm mutes again on the A string fifth fret. Then we're gonna jump up to the tenth fret on the E and the B, do an upstroke. Back to the fifth fret palm mute on the A string. Do our sus four again, and then pull off to the seven, and then come back to a C chord. Then palm mute the C on the A string, and we're gonna play the third fret on the A string and open B string. Two palm mutes on the E string again, third fret, and then the third fret E open B again. Then we're gonna to come to the D, we're gonna do that two times. Then the D sus four, and then pull off to the two, and then do that again. So that's a little confusing, let me play that slowly for you. And that's our pre-chorus there. From there we're going back into our chorus, let's have a look at that. So our chorus is just our main riff and we do that through two times, let's do that slowly. <laughs> We just end on a G and we just hold that for two bars. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And then from there we're going back into the verse. Let's do that up to speed. Once you've done that riff, it's not too bad. <laughs> go back to the verse and we do that all exactly the same then back to the pre-chorus we do that the same and then we do the chorus exactly the same except we don't stop on that last G we go straight into our bridge and let's have a look at that now so our bridge we're going to start on this E minor bar chord there so seventh fret on the A string ninth fret on the D and the G eighth fret on the B and seventh fret on the E and we're going to arpeggio pick so a string, D string, B string, back to the G string, and then E, B, G, D. And we do that two times, so slowly. We've got palm muting on that as well. Then we're gonna come back to our D power chord, or our D bar chord, and we're also gonna add the sus four on there. So fifth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the D, G, and B, and play A, D, B, G, and then play on the B string, eight, pull off to seven, and then seven on the G, seven on the D, so slowly. And again. And then come back two frets and do exactly the same thing. So. And again. Then come back up and we're going to do the same thing again but only do it once. And then we're just going to do a build up on that D with eighth notes. So one and two and three and four and, and that gets us ready for the solo there. So that's not too hard if you've done some arpeggio picking before. So let's try that up to speed. <laughs> Yeah, 
bridge there and then from there we go into our solo but let's have a look at the rhythm before we jump into the solos which we'll do all at the end then for our solo we're going to start on this e power chord we're going to palm mute two times and then do an open on that e power chord palm mute two times again then the e palm mute once e palm mute three times one two three and then the open e palm mute another three times open e and then another two so I'll do that up to speed. Once you sort of feel the groove, it's not that hard. Then we're going to come back to the D power chord. We're going to do two palm mutes on the A string. Play our sus four again. And then do our sus four and pull off to the seventh fret. And then two palm mutes again. And then our sus four again. And again. And then pull off to the seven. And then we go back to our C power chord and we do the same riff we did on the E power chord. Then go back to that D riff and do exactly the same with the pull offs on the sus4. Go back to the E riff and do that the same again. Come back to the D riff, do that exactly the same. Now come back to the C riff and do it the same as the D riff with the sus4 on there. Back to the D riff. And then we're just going to finish on the G and hold that there and the other guitar plays the main riff over the top. So let me do that solo rhythm for you. It's not too hard once you've got that groove there. So from there we go back to the main riff and we do that two more times and then we just do the chorus, just keep repeating that main riff till the end. So now let's tackle all the solos. Okay, so for our intro solo we're going to start on the 12th fret on the D string, 14 on the D, 12 on the G, do a bend on the 14 G, release, 12 on the G and then we're going to do a 15 on the B, bend and release. So slowly. And then we're going to do that run again. D string 12, 14, G string 12, 14, bend, release back to 12 on the G. Now this time bend on 15 on the E, bend and release. And then do the same 15 on the B. And then this time we're jumping back to the A string 12, 14. D string 12, G string did the bend on 14, back to 12, 14, 12. And that's the intro solo, so let me play that for you up to speed. It's not too hard. And then in the second verse we've got a couple of little solos there, again we're going to go D string 12, 14, G string 12, bend on the 14 on the G, then play 12, 14 and then play the 10 on the A string there, so slowly, and then back to the 10, and let's do that one up to speed. Then we have another solo in the second verse and we're just going to start with the bend up on 14 on G and release it and then play 12, that's pretty nice. And that's the solos for the second verse. Then in the second chorus we have a little solo as well. We're going to have 5 slide up to 7 on the A string and on the D string 5, 7, 5, so slowly. There. Then we've 
we've got another solo in the bridge and this time we're going to start with a bend and release on 14 on the G string, pull off to 12 do a bend on 14 with a pinched harmonic and then 12 on the G string with a pinched harmonic and the first one there you can also put a pinched harmonic on that first 14 so let's try that one up to speed and that's a solo in your bridge so now let me play that main solo for you then we'll break that down So we're going to start using our bar on the 9th fret on the G string. So start with it in and let it come up. Then do the same on the 9th fret on the D string. Then come back to the 7th fret on the G string, do the same. And then play the open G string and do the same. So slowly. Then on the G string we have 4, 7, 4, and then do a bend on the 7, and then just play the 7, and then do that again, 4, 7, 4, and this time we're going to do 4 bends on the 7 on the G, and then just play the 7, so that part slowly. jump up to the 17th fret on the E string, do three bends, and then jump back to the A string, play 12, 14, D string, 12, 14, slide up to 16, then the G string, 14, 16, the B string, 15, slide up to 17, then play 15, do a bend on 17 on the B, 17 on the E, and then 15 on the B. So that will run slowly. Then we're going to come up to the 22nd fret on the E string, do six bends. Then we're going to do this little hammer off pull off part. We're going to play 15 on the E string, 17 pull off to 15 on the E. 17 pull off to 15 on the B and then 19 pull off to 15 on the E back to 17 pull off to 15 on the B and we do that two times so. the second time through don't play that 15 at the start so yeah Then we have this little run down, we're going to play on the E string 19, 17, 15, slide back to 14, and then 17, 15, 14, come back to 12 on the E string, then 15, 14, 12, jump to the B string, 15, 13, 12, to the G string, 14, 12, 11, and finish on the 12 there. And then to finish off that solo, we're going to play D string 12, 14, G string 12, do a bend on 14 and release and pull off to 12, 14 on the D, bend on 14 on the G, and then to finish that off do another bend on the 14 on the G, and then just play the 12 on the G. And that's the main solo there, so let's do that one more time up to speed. So 
then from there we have the outro solo. We're going to start on the E string, playing 10, 12 on the A string, 10, 12, slide up to 14. Then on the D string, 12, 14. G string, 12. Bend 14 on the G, play 15 on the E, bend 14 on the G again. So. Then pull off 15 to 12 on the B, bend 14 on the G, play 12 on the B, 15 pull off to 12 on the B, bend on the 14 and do that again, 12, 15, back to 12, 14, 12, so it's just a little blues look there. Finish on the 12, then we're going to come to 15 on the E string, pull off to 12, and then 15 on the B string, pull off to 12, and we do that four times. And then just bend on 15 on the E three times. Then we're going to do a similar riff that we did in the main solo. 17, pull off to 15 on the E. 17, pull off to 15 on the B. 19, pull off to 15 on the E. 17, pull off to 15 on the B. And then repeat that three times. And then to finish that off, we're going to do 17, pull off to 15, 7 on the E, 17, pull off to 15 on the B, and then just do three bends on the 17 on the E. And then we can just go back to that lick again. And then bending again, and that's the way it finishes and fades out by the end. So let's play that one more time up to speed so you can hear how that's going to sound. So that's all the rhythm parts and all the solo parts. And there's some tricky things in there. Take your time and build your speed up, you'll get it. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you soon.